I'm Mark Kelly and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com, and this is Mr. Saltwater Tank RUF, raw, unedited, first impressions. The show where I call it as I see it, take a look at products, and let you know my thoughts without any advanced preparation. This week, we're having a look at Cornerstone Reef Rock. Got a couple samples right here. Let's tear off the bubble wrap and get right into it. All right, so this stuff is a newcomer to the man-made uh, rock. This is a dry rock product. And first thoughts. So these come in a couple of different shapes. I'll show you the shapes in just a second. Here's a close-up shot so you can see what I'm seeing since this is a detailed type of product. The reds on it, like here, a little different to me. It's got some dark pieces. It's got some light pieces as well, like looks like some places where there is no color. Like even down in those cracks, there's no color. It doesn't look as real, as aged as other premium reef products out there. Again, I'm not saying that's bad. This is just what's hitting me as I'm looking at it. So this stuff is gonna color up in time. It's gonna get biofilm on it. And so it's not gonna stay like this forever. So if you really like this look, in six months to a year, it's gonna look like live rock. So this, I will say this though, that if you put this in a tank, if I aquascape the whole tank with it, it's gonna look way better than just white rock. It's gonna look like it's got some life to it, some age to it, make the tank look a lot better right off the bat. Also, taking a look at some other ones that Home Office sent me, I'm liking that there's a variety. Now this stuff comes in a box uh, with different sizes in it. This is kind of like a branch piece. It's not as branchy as I would like it to be, but you could certainly do something cool with this. Maybe fit these two together like this uh, and build like a platform where you could stick in some SPS and some holes here, maybe some LPS. So you got some options for aquascaping. This is a bigger piece. This is a smaller piece. Uh, we also got this strange looking shape. I don't even know what shape you would call this. It's like a thing you can like bludgeon someone <laughs> with. So the other thing I'm noticing about this is this is much lighter than I would have thought this would be. This may be because it's more porous. It'd be hard to measure that. But my first thought is I would have expected this piece to be heavier, especially this piece. I would have thought this piece uh, would have been heavier. So that may mean that it's more porous. There's more open spaces in the rock, which will give it more of surface area for biological activity. But overall, look, I like the shapes. I like the different sizes. I looked at it. I like that it's got some holes in it, like this little guy here. You can hook things together. Even with this big one, you could hook some stuff together, give you some options when you go to aquascape it. It's not just a mass of rock. This isn't solid. I like that it does have these holes. The more I look at it, I'm like, you know, I could do something with that. Even if it's passing a zip tie through here and zipping pieces of rocks together as I'm building it. So I like options when it comes to aquascaping. The different shapes and sizes give me options. I like these holes too. That's giving me more options as well. Now, some of these are more solid. They don't all have holes in them. Like, look, even that guy's got a little glob to it. You can see that right there. Like, that's giving me options when I go to aquascape stuff. Maybe that's gonna be an overhang that just adds a little personality to your live rock. So this has given me different things that I could do with the aquascaping. It's lighter than I thought, so I might not have to use as much rock as I think to get the biological activity that I want. Now, it would be nice if these guys did some kind of arch kit I don't know if they offer that. I don't think they offer that just yet. Maybe that will come in the future. And this is kind of an arch, like you could do an overhang. Let's do like, just build this up real quick. Like maybe even pass a zip tie here so that that will hold. Like look, now if I can make this hold, like I got options for an arch or an overhang. That's kind of cool. I can do that since I have the holes. Would it be nice to have an actual like arch kit like the crib sea stuff? Sure, maybe that's coming in time but for now, I've got lots of options with, uh, options with the Aquascape. The color, not as thrilled about it as I could be. That's just a personal preference thing. A little too much white for me. The colors look a little pastel-y for me. I like to have a little darker browns or darker purples. Not a make it or break it. Again, in six to months to a year, it's not gonna look like this at all. It's gonna look like aged rock, and it's certainly better than white stuff. So, you know, I'm, you know what I wanna do? Let me go chunk this piece 
down in my sump or refugium. Maybe I have a place for it in my tank. I'll just leave it there for a couple months. We'll revisit this. See how this stuff ages up. Maybe it breaks down in a hair I'll break just in this rock. I don't know. Let's see. Let's throw it in there. Uh, let's see what happens. But there's a first look at the Cornerstone Rock here at saltwateraquarium.com. Got some things that I like about it. Little couple things I'd see different, but I wouldn't rule it out. If I'm looking at building a tank, definitely going to give you more life, more definition, more personality than just straight rock. We're definitely onto something here. Mm -hmm.